Okay, Sean, now to a Local 4 update. A group of downriver teens stranded in Poland after WOW Air suddenly shut down, and this group isn't getting home anytime soon. And they are there for the hockey tournament, but now it seems they're in for an epic adventure. Let's get to Rod Maloney. Ron, things are starting to look up, but not by much. Not by much. I mean, you take a trip halfway across the globe to play some hockey, and it is the chance of a lifetime. The problem is you got to be able to get home. And right now, they honestly and truly don't know how or even when it's going to happen. Watch closely. Center Tyler Baylog of Southgate calls for the puck by snapping his stick on the ice, takes a pass, slides behind the net, and then scores what they call a Michigan. A remarkably artful athletic wraparound shot he'll likely remember for the rest of his life. Right now, he and his lifelong friend Matthew Gilbert are just playing hockey and having fun. Tyler was always the little guy, but it never stopped him, never yeah. knocked him down. You know. But Tyler's and, uh, mom says the a... uncertain trip home is something they'll never forget either. You know, a little nervous about it, but they just they have stuff they have to do for the next few days, and right. so they're trying to stay focused on that. Even 36 hours after WoW's 11 plane fleet stopped flying, the boys and their 18 teammates and coaches have no idea how they're getting home. The coach doesn't want to separate the kids onto other flights because it's his responsibility. And ultimately, he's responsible for these kids. Long before that, the team needs to get to Germany to fly to Boston, but the trip there from Poland is a 10-hour bus ride. Most likely, um, they'll just see if they can extend their stay at the hotel that they're at until they know where they have to be. And the meter is running on this trip, getting exponentially more expensive by the minute, and many of the boys have school and jobs to return to. They'll handle themselves. Um, but you just, being in another country, it's just very uncomfortable. Uncomfortable indeed. Now, here's the thing. United is offering $50 off a plane ride, but they can't get enough seats to get the whole team on board. So it's looking like right now, believe it or not, that they may not get back for another week. They're hoping another airline steps up to help out, though. Reporting live, Rod Maloney, Local 4.